My name is Jeanette Nielsen and I am the chairman of the Radio Historical Society in West Sweden. And it's this society that runs Radio Museum in Gothenburg. And I'm standing beside a radio transmitter that it was made in the 1920s. And that is quite soon after the Titanic sunk. So the radio on the Titanic must have been quite like this one. It doesn't actually work, but as you can see, we can still get a bit of life in it. And then perhaps you would be interested to hear that the distress signals didn't go out from, were not received when the Titanic went down because nobody was listening. So a couple of years later, a law was passed that you must keep track of this distress frequency. But most boats only had one radio operator and he couldn't stay awake all the time. So they made an alarm and this rings loudly if a distress signal comes and wakes up the poor man that's trying to get his night's sleep. And that worked very well all the years that it needed to. This is a very old telephone and our technicians made it work with another very old telephone a little bit away so children can ring each other here which children enjoy very much but what i want to tell you about is that they opened this door and found a piece of paper that said service 1905 which means that this telephone is at least well could it be 1902 1900 very old and still working our telephones will not be working in 120 years